difficult to say because you know the, because it's set in then you know 1914. The music of that period is really quite. Uh, it's too. It's too melodramatic for a television series. You know the music's got to work as underscore under dialogue. So, uh, but it has to have. It, you know you have to conjure up that period as well. So I simplified the harmony. I mean, and most of you won't understand what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, I made the, the harmony much more sim simpler. It's almost like pop music in a way, the harmony. But the orchestration is is from 1914. Um, and I mean, I you know I just sit down and look at the picture and improvise to it. And as soon as it begins to feel differently, or you know the the picture takes on a sort of magic that wasn't there before, then I know I'm onto something. I certainly, I listen to a lot of Elgar and Vaughan Williams, you know, classic English composers of that period. And, you know, they definitely had, you know, a bit of an, an influence on it. But you would be hard pushed to tell, I think, really. The, the music's all about the relationships between the characters. It's not specifically about a character, although except for the house. The house itself, Downton Abbey, has got its own sort of musical identity, you know, that kind of, it's rooted. It's there, it was there in series one, kind of stays the same in series two, and I'm in the middle of series three at the moment. In fact, I shouldn't really be here. I should actually be back, back in London working on it.